हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक नाउ लेट्स लिसन द स्टोरी ऑफ द ग्रीडी कोबरा एंड द किंग ऑफ फ्रॉग्स दिस स्टोरी इज टोल्ड बाय रक्तमुखा टू करालमुखा नाउ लेट्स बिगिन गंगदत्त वाज अ किंग अमंग फ्रॉग्स ही रूल्ड ओवर अ ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रॉग्स दैट लिव्ड इन अ वेल हिज रिलेटिव्स वर ऑलवेज नैगिंग टू हिम ओवर स्मॉल थिंग्स एंड ही वाज फेड अप विद देम One day he climbed up the water wheel and left his kingdom. He sought revenge on his relatives. Due to whose constant torment he had to leave his kingdom. Just then he saw a cobra entering another well. He thought of a plan of having his relatives eaten up by the cobra. He went to the entrance of the hole and said, "My friend, I have come to make friends to you." I am the king of frogs. On hearing this, the cobra realized that it was not the voice of his kith and kin, but his natural enemy. He decided not to leave his hole and come out, for he suspected some foul reason. He suspected someone might be trying to catch him through mantra, or maybe flute, or even herbs. He answered cautiously, "Who are you?" Why do you talk this nonsense about friendship? Can timber and fire ever be friends? You are my natural enemy. The king of frogs replied, "Indeed, your words are true, but I seek revenge on my relatives who have tormented me for years. I ask your help. I can lead you to the well that is my forsaken kingdom." and can eat as many frogs as you want the cobra inquired a well is built by layers of stone i have no legs how can i possibly get into the well and even if i manage to do so where will i be able to sit and eat the frogs go away the king of frogs assured there is a nice comfortable hole at the edge of the water where you can sit and eat i will lead you to the inside of the well and to the comfortable hole but you will have to promise me that you will eat only my annoying relatives and not my friends the cobra thought of his old age and this offer was not good to be turned down the greedy cobra agreed to the friendship and followed the frog he went into the hole as promised Once there he would eat one frog whenever he would feel hungry as days went by the number of frogs went down and finally all annoying frogs were exhausted one day the cobra called out to the king of frogs and said there are no more frogs to eat here only your friends remain please give me some more food you are my friend and it is you who have led me here so you are responsible for my food the king of frogs realized his mistake for the cobra wanted more so he could do nothing but watch the cobra eat all the other frogs even his close friends and his son were eaten he was hungry and wanted the king of frogs to send some more frogs the king of frogs realized that only he among the frogs remained alive he assured the cobra that if he let him leave the well he will bring more frogs from other wells so that the cobra would be able to satisfy his hunger the cobra got greedy and let the king of frogs go but even after his anxious wait for several days the king of frogs did not return after a long time of waiting the cobra requested a female lizard that lived in the walls of the well to request the king of frogs to return as he could not bear the separation of his dear friend the lizard conveyed the message to the king of frogs who replied madam please convey to him that i will never return to the well again he is starved and a starving person can be cruel and go to any extent of sin thus the king of frogs saved himself 
and the greedy cobra had to perish inside the well without any food. So friends, the moral of the story is fight your own battle else you will surely be destroyed. So friends, concluding the story, Rakta Mukha, the monkey told the crocodile, You wicked creature, I will never visit your home. Karala Mukha, the crocodile pleaded with him, My friend, this is not proper. Please come and sanctify my home. Otherwise, I will be guilty of ingratitude. If you don't come, I will fast and die. The monkey said, You are an idiot to think that I would like Lambakarna invite death knowingly. Oh my friend, let me hear that story of Lambakarna, asked the crocodile. Then the monkey told the crocodile the story of Lambakarna. Friends, we will bring the story of the lion and the foolish donkey very soon. Friends, do write your views about the story in the comment section. If you like this podcast, then click the like button and also share it. See you soon in the next story. Stay tuned with this series for listening to more Panchatantra stories. Take care. Bye.